I want to get back to the president's speech last night on terrorism and bring in Republican Senator from Wyoming, John Barrasso. Senator, uh, the response from the center and the right has been that that was not much, certainly nothing that was new last night. Doesn't that give the center and the right an opportunity here to just jump right in with a really proactive anti-terror policy? Well, I think it does, Stuart, because the president last night to me seemed to be out of touch with the needs and the cares and the fears of the American people, doesn't seem to be up to the job. He continues to still underestimate uh, ISIS's role in terror, uh, whether it's saying they're contained, whether they're calling it uh, a JV team, and now saying there's no credible threat right before the attacks that were happening here in the homeland. I think people are looking for a compelling answer, and they're sure not getting it from this president. I want to raise a, an issue which um, is a little difficult to raise, but to me, the president looked tired and a little disappointed. He wasn't upbeat, lively, and passionate. He appeared to be tired, withdrawn, and in retreat. Now, that's my personal observation. How about yours? Well, you know, the president went right from there to put on a tuxedo and go to the, uh, the Hollywood event at the Kennedy Center last night. So uh, maybe the president was disappointed that he couldn't be out celebrating with his friends. But that's what the problem is, why the, the American people are so concerned. The president doesn't seem to be taking this with the seriousness that the American public is concerned about. When you take a look at any of these terrorists, whether abroad or here, they, they are well armed, they are well funded, they seem to be well connected. And, and that is the, the worry that people have all across the country and across the world with this terror threat. And the president really gave us no new reason to hope yesterday. He just basically said he's going to stay the course. But you look at what's happening with the, the, the bombing raids that have been going on. He's now saying he's going after some of the oil supplies. Then what have we been doing for the last 16? 16 months, Stuart, if now he's saying we're going to go after this. Well, well, Senator, you're a Republican from Wyoming. You don't have any problem with your constituents about gun control. I mean, I think you probably come from a pretty much a gun, a pro-gun state. But what about other states? The president and the Democrats are raising the issue of gun control. Now, is, that's a pretty powerful issue, isn't it, uh, in some parts of the well, country? I think the president is trying to distract from the fact that None of the laws on the books in California, where in California you have some of the, the, the most strong gun control laws in the nation, nothing would have prevented what happened in California. Not additional gun laws, not what the president is talking about with, uh, as he wants to bring Syrian refugees here to the United States. Nothing that, has, that he has proposed last night would have changed what's happened in California. So when the president says, go after the guns, that would not have addressed the concerns of the American people. And what I see happening and listening to folks around the country is they feel that the government is not able to protect them and they're going to want to protect themselves and perhaps go for more weapons, more ammunitions, yeah. because they don't believe that the president and the, and the country is being adequately protected. I think it's a, a near certainty that this week we see an explosion in gun applications, permit applications. I think it's going to happen. Um, uh, Senator John Barrasso, Republican Wyoming. I always like to get that right. Thanks very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. See you soon. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, Thank sir. you.